And how you guys doing? Of course, the laws are very important in reference to tampering, gang stalking, and satellite crimes of ghost attacking a person, burning a person's teeth, causing them damage to to discredit their health or their anatomy or their nutrition is a crime, government man. Using a satellite to damage or to chip or to cause mutilations to a person's facial structure or a person's bone structure or a person's body tissue is illegal. And you know, I had to pass a background check for this job I'm working at. And the satellite man's still been burning me. You don't know that, right? So the satellite controller has to get charged for instigating and accusating and falsifying and torture tracking and ghost attacking a person with satellites. Do you know what ghost attacking is? A lot of times when the government spies on a person, they usually shock or taser or cause them injuries. And then the government claims no responsibility, which is a crime. You know, the royal protocol of my identity is in the media. It's there 24 hours a day. It's in movies and TV shows. It's even in commercials and during campaign uh, runnings of candidates that try to run for office. Everybody knows that, right? The royal protocol is in every uh, video in reference to uh, when a politician is running for office in reference to media corporations of my father and mother. Is that not true? And somebody communicated that the Treasury was, uh, or they had it on some type of uh, social media or something, I guess, that the Treasury was working with my ballet pizza company because they know this is a hostage situation of government blocking me from my money and trust funds, of which people are trying to block me from opening up pizza restaurants, which... You know, the Treasury has to look up the documents and see what kind of tampering, uh, road blocking, or whatever kind of uh, business tampering or people conspiring against my ballet pizza company or people trying to steal recipes or people that are trying to steal business or business licensing. Of course, you know, I have a lot of licensing in reference to my biological parents, of course. And the estates of my parents, of course, I have all the licensing of all the companies. You know that, right? Very important. And those are forever licensing that I have forever. So, you know, in reference to uh, the government trying to play tricks or damaging my teeth as they have their hate crime, jealousy, or hatred or whatever they categorize their abuses as, or their curiosity, there is no record of me ever having fake teeth. The satellite man was burning my mouth and lips. They've been doing that all day. So we need that satellite man to show up in court and present documents of why he ever called my teeth fake. I'm a first world country person of America. The satellite controller is not first world country American. Even if they had generations of their family born in America, it is illegal for government to be attacking people of this country. Do you understand that? Them claiming that they thought they were burning somebody's mouth, damaging their teeth, because they didn't like something about a person's teeth? That's illegal. Snaggletoothing a person is illegal in America. You need to put your markings on your own race. And I'm a hermaphrodite. So, you know, in reference to this government man damaging my teeth, there is no way for that man to escape prosecution. In the years of them stalking me, the years of them trying to confuse people with an impersonator that's trying to steal my identity, these people falsifying that their wants or desires was that they wanted to be the owners of my mother and father's estates is a crime. 
A state law outranks government in America. And so does royal law of America and European royal law. So in reference to government or political parties or Nazis or uh, any race of these people that are trying to manipulate, they have to get prosecuted. Them damaging my teeth all these years, spying on me 24 hours a day, and they still made up accusations. They must spied at me, uh, spied on me when I went to the dentist before. And these people trying to play their manipulations, we want to see their warrants. You can't just be some politician thinking you just wanted to hurt somebody from a satellite and then claim you thought you'd just make up some lie. That is falsifying information. That is falsifying suspicion. That is physical assault and abuse. And abuse of power of government satellite controllers. And the activity of them violating protection laws and protection orders. And the activity of them poaching genetics. The fact of them violating term limits of government. In reference to any person that's tried to play their manipulation game, they are in violation of factual constitutional laws and a declaration of independence. And they're in violation of church and state laws that protect people's rights of being a religion and race protection laws. <coughs> Hit me in the throat. So in reference to the government, man, that's another lawsuit right there, too. So in reference to the government, man, falsifying information, falsifying suspicion of a person that comes from a particular family or genetic type is a crime. These people that thought they would slander my character or they thought they'd get away with slandering my mother and father's character, none of those people are the same race as my parents. And none of those people are hermaphrodites. So in reference to genetic human trafficking or people stealing genetics and trying to sell them on the black market is a crime. So in reference to the satellite man trying to cause mutilations and causing mutilations, trying to discredit somebody, to slander a person's character, to falsify suspicions, is attempts of murder. And the slander is attempts of murder. And the activity of their ghost attacking a person with satellites, and then pretending like they don't know what they are doing, is endangerment and it is a crime meaning they're tampering and trying to make up excuses and accusations I've never had a criminal record never been arrested for nothing ever all these stalkers and all this gang stalking that these government people have done and all their tampering these people are trying to cover up the murders of my parents which there was restraining orders against the murderers and whoever was leading their illegal activities. There was court records and a hate club list that had political names on them and political families in America. It had their names on it. It had some other people's names on it too. So in reference to government and the Supreme Court and the Treasury, they're supposed to keep up with updated information of these people trying to channel through different people to accusate and to slander with their industry of death games, with them ghost attacking a person, torturing a person, burning a person with their satellite activities, and then claiming that they thought they would accusate against the character of the person. That's called a ghost attack. 
when the government uses a satellite or they try to haunt a person or they try to stalk a person or they try to play puppet games with a person's body parts. That is a ghost attack. That's like government voodoo terrorism and that is 100% illegal in America for the government to be doing those things. The government trying to confuse the identity of my parents, the government trying to confuse my identity, the government trying to downgrade my family history. They need to know what race these people are, where and what country their family came from, and when did they come into this country. Whoever the slander, wherever the slander is coming from, and whichever people had put on illegal uniforms to cover their criminal history as their way of trying to cover up that they had been caught trying to steal my mother and father's estates before. Or they tried to slander or they tried to sabotage anything. There has to be more court cases. Rural protocols in the media of my identity and movie productions and technology of what my father created and a reference to the industry of what my father owned and what my mother owned. Of course, I am the owner. Nothing changes hands, nothing changes race, nothing changes religion. Politics does not overrule rights of ownership, especially at any time that any of the slander or accusations came from government. And a reference to clearing the history or clarifying the history of the accusators that accusated against my parents, those people have to be ordered into court. And they have to investigate where these people came up with their lies. And that is factual guidelines of procedure. Any accusation from any person, they have to know what race and religion they are, what political ties they had with whoever, and what they were trying to do, what they were trying to get at, what they were trying to manipulate, what they were trying to steal from my mother and father's estates and companies. It's always very important, reverence to getting down to the point. See, these people thought they would ghost attack people with satellites and try to make them look like they were acting strange as their way of kidnapping or body snatching them or to claim that they were, their Nazi party was trying to evaluate a person when they were setting the person on fire with microwaves from a satellite. So the activities of government manipulating and making up lies and falsifying, these people have to get prosecuted for their violations and their technology violations and their accusations and their interceptions of monies or postal mail. They have to get prosecuted. Or if they stole checks or credit cards that people tried to send to me even back in the 80s, they have to search for all the people that stole money from my mother. When I was held hostage in Indiana back in the 80s and other places. Which person was stealing the postal mail then? What race? What religion? What's their identity? And those people have to get brought to justice. Those people have to get ordered into court for what they have done. It's on the record books. Their names, a lot of these people, one name leads to another person's name in reference to these conspirators. So no matter how many times they tried to play, uh, they didn't know nothing, they didn't know this, they didn't know that. And the fact of them violating certified, classified, certified protection documents that I'm a real hermaphrodite, where these government people thought they would try to rape me or they thought that they would try to render me unconscious to try to play their 
strip search game of a hermaphrodite's anatomy or royal anatomy of a hermaphrodite. The fact of these government people claiming they thought that they wanted to steal genetics from a hermaphrodite does not give you a right of stealing genetics from a hermaphrodite, no matter how much you wanted, no matter who put you up to doing it, it is illegal. It even says on those treasury documents that there are certain races and ethnicities and certain religions of females that I cannot date. Based on government, based on political views, based on education, based on career choice, based on propaganda, based on their history in America or whoever somebody is based on their financial portfolio, based on their class, based on their uh, their history of performances or just even their the notion of who they had contacts with. There would have to be court cases, reference to government tampering, government making phone calls, government accusating against me, all the names of all the people have to be on record. And the violations have to be submitted into court, whoever the people are. That's the facts of law.